Welcome to this special edition of the Beancast, covering the state of premium programmatic buying at the PP360 event in New York. I'm your host, Bob Norm. What's the future of programmatic buying? According to the organizers of the Premium Programmatic 360 Conference, it's about creating premium value for both publishers and buyers. But is this possible? And how do we do it? We sat down with a few of the conference organizers to find out. Thanks for being with us for this special edition of the Beancast. I'm Bob Norp. And with us on the panel, we start this episode with some of the conference organizers. First up from Sanobi, we welcome the CEO, Michael Connolly. From Sanobi also, we have the Chief Strategy Officer, Chris Carl. And from Tomorrow LLC, we say hello to CEO and ad legend, John Bond. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing? Are you Very excited good. about good. the conference? How are you today? We're thrilled. <laughs> Yay. Hey, look, I, I, I know that you all believe that premium programmatic buying is the future of media buying, or you wouldn't be doing a whole conference around it. I mean, the PP360 conference is all about this. But what is it about the space, Michael? What is it about the space that most excites you and why? Tell us about this. The IAB had a leadership conference not too long ago, and uh, there were four quadrants of the slide. And in the top left corner was sort of premium programmatic. Remember, this is radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We, we, we've got an imagination. Radio is the theater of the mind. <laughs> uh, and in the top left quadrant of the slide was a uh, uh, sort of a, a blank slide that described premium programmatic. It was a gray area. In other words, undefined. Right. So uh, for us, I think what's exciting is that um, as a market, we haven't quite defined what this is, which creates an awful lot of opportunity for companies like Sanobi. Well, that's, that's fantastic. What do you say, John? I mean, what's your most exciting aspect about premium programmatic? I think it's to, to get into the brand uh, coffers. Um, you know, most of the money is still spent on the brand side. And um, this is the entryway between technology and So you're brand. saying this is all about money? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. I don't own the company. <laughs> in, in, many, in, many ways, in many ways, it's about scale. Okay. Brands need scale. Right. And uh, in the first iteration of how they've been buying the Internet, there's right. been limited scale. So we're, we're bringing and introducing a standard that gives them access to premium supply to build scale. You know, scale is a big problem as we go forward in media because it's just like you're getting such a diffused amount of opportunities to buy and to make smart decisions becomes an increasingly more and more difficult process. So um, do you solve that problem by, you know, it's not just about scale. It's also about simplifying things, right, Chris? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Simplification is important and making the workflow side of the business easier for those that have to execute on a day-to-day -day basis to uh, attain that reach and drive sales for their companies. Awesome. Awesome. You know, you've, you've all had a chance at this point, I'm sure, to talk with many of the speakers, probably even some of the attendees prior to the event today. What are the opportunities that most excite people out there in the marketplace? Is it just about the scale or is it also about simplification? I mean, what, what is it about your customers that gets them excited? Well, for Sanobi, we represent the, the publisher uh, okay. in, in, in the ecosystem. And I think what's most interesting for them uh, is the idea of leaning more on uh, automation of premium transactions that really drive the major revenue component of their business. So when, they, when you think about a publisher's business, a majority of the revenue generated is not coming from exchange-enabled remnant inventory, RTB. Right. Um, and so automating a component of that top tier uh, that is so important to their business, I think, uh, creates uh, an incredible amount of excitement on the publisher side. What, what concerns, John, what concerns do you find people having about premium programmatic? And what is the industry doing to allay these fears today? Because it, this is a whole new space. Everybody's kind of wrestling with the programmatic solution that makes the most sense for them. How are you allaying fears to make this a possibility? Well, I, I think it's almost a step before that where people don't even know what it is. <laughs> so, I, Are you I, I saying think, that people don't know what they're doing in advertising? <laughs> they're yeah. good at talking like they do. Yes, right? they are. Um, no, I, I think it's education at this point in time. Right. Uh, and, you know, people have been trained that they have to keep up with things. And they're, they, they've, they've learned they can't hot put their head in the sand and hope things go away. They've got to get comfortable with change and learning new things, um, especially if the new things are important. Uh, so I, I think we need to get the thought leaders and the early adopters on the bus first, right. uh, and then it'll spread from there. 
Chris, where do you believe the space needs to move next? I mean, what is the future of premium programmatic as we go forward and evolve? Uh, premium programmatic is, is the complement to an already established open market that exists for uh, those buyers that are looking for deals in attaining their reach and scale. Premiums a book. In other words, that, economy. I mean, economies of scale, but right. there's there's a there has to be a win win and a balance in the space. And what uh, premium program, programmatic represents is the counterbalance to that that uh, you know inexpensive marketplace that exists. So when we bookend the market with a premium solution and an open market solution, everyone wins, and there's more opportunity for uh, the business to scale easily. Michael, uh, obviously conferences like this go a long way toward educating the market and uh, educating the marketing community as a whole, but what is it going to take to generate both wide-scale awareness and effective use of premium programmatic solutions? I mean, what, what needs to happen now? Companies that are aiming to bring this technology and create this economy at scale, I think, uh, need to have uh, front-facing uh, tools for both the publisher and buyer to simplify the <laughs> workflow and access in a really easy way. And that sounds simple and easy to do, but it's not. Um, to transact uh, media programmatically is um, difficult both on the buy side and the sell side from a workflow. So to get mass adoption, I think it starts with the user experience and using the tool to execute that transaction, making it simple and easy. To John, use. John's practically coming out of his seat uh, wanting to talk. To I, I think that's <laughs> totally the key. You know, what, what people don't realize is uh, a agency people are overworked and there's a salary cap due to procurement having a huge impact and due to every agency being owned by a big public holding company that wants to make more money and people are just stressed. So if it isn't simple to do, then even if it's unfortunately in the client's best interest, people won't do it. Right. And so we got to make it easy. Here, here, we've been living through this years in the internet of, of evolution in media types. Right, right. Uh, Premium programmatic isn't a media type. It's it's an evolution in workflow and media. So it's a, it's a bigger scope. So it doesn't, it bigger, doesn't actually it change what impact. people are buying. What it changes is how people are buying. In many ways, yes. Right, right. That's yep. pretty amazing. Um, any last words before we wrap up for this evening? I mean, it's just like... Uh, I just want to say, you know, on the, on the you know, we're going to do this with the Com, ComScore 200, but eventually it'll expand to, you know, all uh, uh, online publications. But I think the... The small independent publications um, have a problem because they can only sell on the exchanges at a low CPM. Mm. And they, a lot of times, don't sell all their premium inventory. And I think there's a great market for that huge amount of inventory to help the smaller independent publishers survive by giving them a viable market for their best stuff, basically. Mm -hmm. so, so this is really um, a solution that's going to save publishing for a lot of the smaller niche markets, right? I mean, it's just like, because there's so much competition, this actually uh, all helps All of them. humanity, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, we have run out of time. I'd like to thank my guests once again, Michael Connolly, Chris Carl, and John Bond. For more information about the Premium Programmatic 360 conference, visit pp360nyc.com. And for more information about this show, visit thebeancast.com. On behalf of the PP360 conference, I'm Bob Norp. Thank you for joining us.